Yeah, 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 yeah. What's really happening? It's your boy OG Jigavelli with another episode of Street Code of Conduct. Today's episode, man, I'm going to be addressing some comments. There's been no feedback that I've been getting from all the videos I've been dropping. I know y'all been seeing a lot of me. One, everybody been wanting to know, who is OG Jigavelli? Who, I, who, am, who am I? So let me, let me explain who I am, man. I'm an OG from Miami, man. I've been in the streets of Miami, raised, born, and raised out of Jackson Memorial Hospital. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been in the streets my whole life. I spent most of my time, you know, in and out of juvenile, in and out of the county jail, boys' school, you know what I'm saying, um, prisons. I did 11 years in the state of Florida. I did six, I just finished up a 16-year beard in, um, in the feds. With that being said, I just wanted, some of the comments I've been getting, especially from some of, let me just deal with some of the negative comments first. This whole platform of mine, right, is to... Help our young brothers and sisters, mostly my young brothers, you know what I'm saying, who I can relate to more, um, stay out of prison, you know what I'm saying? And also understand that because they from different hoods, that they, they not each other ops, right? So that's the whole um, purpose of me and my platform. I gave my advice to all the OGs feeling like, you know, instead of trying to tackle this thing, you know, widely, let's go at our cities first. So that's why I've been a lot of my comments and a lot of my videos being addressed strictly for Miami so far, right? So let's deal with Miami. One thing I want to get clear and understand, man, I'm not attacking my young my young brothers in the streets. I'm not attacking them. That ain't that ain't my strategy, you know what I'm saying? I want them to understand I am them and they they are me. I'm just an older version of them. For some reason, and I thank God he saved me from a lot of the stuff that they're going to end up going through. So a lot of them, a lot of them going, a lot of, you know, a lot of, and to get on that, a lot of people been saying, oh, it's over for this generation. Um, that they throw the cars in, they throwing the towel in. I, I beg the difference. I beg the difference. Why? Because I made it through. You know what I'm saying? And, and other guys like myself made it through. You know what I'm saying? Um, God didn't give up on me. My mama prayers didn't give up on me. So we not going to know what I'm saying. I'm not going to give up on them. There's a lot of guys that follow me, man. A lot of my homies, man. I'm going to shout a few on my, man. Shout out to Lil Papa. You know what I'm saying? Out of Robin Hood. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying? Frank. You know what I'm saying? Out of Robin Hood. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? Paul. Out of Robin Hood. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to um, Dewey Hound. Out of Adam Powder. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Just, I'm going to shout out some of my homeboys. Shout out to Charlie Boy. You know what I'm saying? On 61st. One of the real original John Doors. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know what I'm saying, to Burt, Shante Ward, man, my brother in the struggle, you know what I'm saying, a real belly, you know what I'm saying, shout out them boys, them boys reach out to me, shout out to the Plex, shout out, shout out, you know what I'm saying, on Booby Case, shout out to my homies, man, that's on lockdown, that, you know, got phones, and they reaching out, you know, I touch their books best I can, I try to spread the money out, you know what I'm saying, that's one of the things that I do, because I know how it is in there, right, $20, $30 ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying, if you got it, spread it out, you know what I mean, but at the end of the day, I'm giving them hope. My two platforms is street code of conduct and breaking the chain of institutionalization. I'm not trying to deal with no relationship issues. I'm not trying to deal with telling you how to get your money. You know what I'm saying? Them my two topics. Them my platforms. So for you negative um, commenters that's strolling like y'all tired of seeing, you know, brothers from prison getting on these platforms. Y'all tired of seeing this. Y'all tired of seeing that. Evidently you ain't because at the end of the day, we won't be coming up on your timeline if you weren't interested. So my, 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 my advice to you, man, for you, you people with the negative comments, if you don't have no solutions on really helping our, you know what I'm saying, our youth, you know what I'm saying, stay out of prison and making mistakes, you don't have no real solutions, man, don't waste your time commenting. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I don't, I don't, I, that, that don't phase me, man. I'm going to keep doing God's work. I'm going to keep pushing my agenda, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what my intentions is. I'm not clout chasing. I'm not I'm not looking for a monetary gain behind this here. I really and truly have an issue with the system. The system that stole so many um, years of my life. And this system ain't just about the lockup system. This system is dealing with our music, our culture, you know what I'm saying? It, it, we're being attacked from so many different ways that if, if we don't, Get into a village mentality where everybody, everybody matter. Like everybody, even us coming home from prison, have to put in the work, man. We got to stop getting out of prison and feel like because we out. You know what I'm saying? We don't owe no, 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 no responsibility to our young brothers. That, that, that's like selfishness. 
I don't want to see none of these young brothers, man, throw their life away. I don't want to see none of these young brothers make a, 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 a second decision that costs them 20 or 30 years of their life. I know how it is in there. You know what I'm saying? So that's to the negative um, comments. But to, the, to those um, brothers that have been landing their support, telling me to push, man, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you sharing the content. I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, keeping me uplifted. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna take it's gonna take that encouragement because somebody gonna have to you know. So what? 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 My my question to to the brothers, right? What a man of courage at? And I'm, I'm taking this I'm taking this from a Marcus Garvey speech. And y'all should know who Marcus Garvey is. Y'all know who NBA Young Boy is. Y'all know who you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh what what his name is? Um, 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 Breezy or whatever name is Honeycomb Breeze Brazy or whatever his name. Y'all know all these rappers. Y'all know all these celebrities. Y'all know the stacks on Michael Jordan. You need to know who the men that had courage that led, you no, know, in the past like Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Huey Newton. You know what I'm saying? Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? These brothers hit a Fred Hampton. You know these brothers gave their lives. To the betterment of our people, you know what I'm saying? And if you one thing we have in common, all these brothers done done time. Even Martin Luther King was sitting behind jails for the call. So don't look at us because we done spent time in prison or we done spent most of our life locked up as, you know what I mean, not having nothing to offer. That goes to you negative commenters. You know what I mean? If you're so tired of seeing this type of message on social media, get off social media. Because what's your content about? Half of y'all ain't got nothing going on. So I'm, I'm still not even much worrying about what you got to say. I'm just for, for, no, for the record, man. Um, My next episode, I'm going to give y'all a little back history on me. So you got to keep tapping in. I can't make these videos long. You know what I'm saying? The order to post them. You got to go subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. OG Jigga Valley, man. It's in my bio. I'm, I'm constantly putting it in the comments. You know what I mean? Go over there for the full videos. Like, share. Let's start, you know what I'm saying? We got to we gotta really get into, uh, you know what I mean, unity, man. If we really want to save these kids, man. You know what I mean? We really want to save the youth. These young boys don't want to die at 25. They don't want to die at 18. They don't really want to go to prison for 40 and 30 and 50 years and 20 years. But they don't see no alternative. They don't see no alternative. Ain't nobody like them reaching back and, you know what I mean, really dealing with them. And half of the guys that's coming home, you know what I'm saying, Trying to qualify themselves as being OGs, they rats. They done told so the young young guys, the young lions, man, they can see they can see a cat. They can see a cat. A cat can't talk to a lion. You know what I'm saying? So 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 I have the young guys inboxing me. I have the young guys. You know what I mean? I don't post a lot of that stuff, but I can. I try to keep, you know, because they reaching out in private, man. I be trying to keep their comments, but we got to get out front with this here. And I appreciate them young guys for having the courage to reach out to a real one, man. To reach out to a real one, you know. So this post, this this, this episode right here, Street Code of Conduct, I'm dealing with the comments. Is, is, it, is it over with for this generation? Should we, should we count them out? No, nah, if we count them out, just imagine what the next generation after them, their kids going to be like. It's only getting worse. It's time for the real. Where the men like Marcus Garvey said in his speech, where are the men of courage? It take courage to get out here. It take courage to tell them like, hey man, that ain't what's up. You shouldn't be this. You shouldn't be that. That ain't G. You know what I'm saying? But half y'all ain't got the courage because you fake and you're phony. And they're going to see you coming from a mile away. These young guys, these young cats in the streets, they ain't green. Especially no young Miami boys. They, they ain't green. They ain't going to take it from anybody. That's why I'm dealing with my city. And then we're looking, we looking for these celebrities to be, you know, the, the leaders. That ain't, they, 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 they entertain us. They entertain us. They in it for the money. You understand? When you ain't in it for the money, you take a knee like Kaepernick. You know what I'm saying? When you ain't in it for the money, you turn down a road like Denzel. You ain't never seen Denzel play a transvestite. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's people when they really respect the culture and understand the script of their platform, it's certain things that they're not going to do. Because they know the kids are watching them. The kids are looking up at them for a role model. Look at look, 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 Lonzo Morning. Not Lonzo Morning. My bad. My bad. 
I said it wrong. Not Alonzo Morning. What a boy name is now just came out. Shot. Forgive me, Alonzo. Not you. Um, what a boy name is now. Dwayne Wade and the other boy man. Um, 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 uh, um. You know, you know who I'm talking about. Um, Dwight Howard. Look at these boys, man. Some of the young boys were looking up to them. Come to find out, it's funny business going on. You know. These rappers that that when 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 um when they speak all this G code all this op music when they get up under some real um pressure, you see what happened to them. They they fold, then all of a sudden we give them a pass. Oh, it's okay. Nah, if you a G, if you don't do the crime, if you can't do the time, don't go in the kitchen if you can't stand the heat. You understand what I'm saying? One thing about me, when you fact check and y'all really go back and fact checks about me, I never told on nobody. I always kept it G. I ain't never put my hands on a woman. I ain't never hurt an elderly. Everything that I speak on, I stand on. Go get my book. Go get my book, Pressure, man. You want to more, more? I keep putting this book up, man, because I really want y'all to read this. That's another thing wrong with us people, black people. We're not reading. And for those who have a problem with brothers that's in prison, Man, a lot of brothers in prison got plenty of time to read, man. We got a lot going on in this head, man. That's why I employ my brothers that's coming home from prison. Man, stop stop letting them feel like you're not valued. Stop making them let them feel like you don't have nothing to offer. Don't come in, don't come out here and throw the towel in, man. You're an OG in your house. You're an OG on your on your block. If you kept a G. If you kept a G. Now, if you ain't keep a G, stay on, get on out the way, get on the porch, man. Know what I'm saying? But for the real ones, know what I'm saying? Like all, you know what I mean? Go check my book, Federal Pressure Out. Still on paperwork. That means still on paperwork. That means I don't mess with rats. I don't care how much money you got, man. I cannot be bought. Like I told you, I'm not in this for the money. So I'm, a, I'm a not going to make this video long. I'm going I'm to I'm have a part one, part two, as long as it takes for me to get my message out. You're going to see more and more of me. For Miami, man, you really want to know who I am? Watch my next video. I'm going to break you down who I really am. Know what I'm saying? Who is who is OG Jigavelli? I'm going to take you back because a lot, a lot of y'all haven't went and got my book yet. If you went and got this book, you already know who I am. A lot of y'all doing your facts checks. A lot of y'all stepping in, you know what I'm saying, in the comments and in the inbox, and you finding out I'm really him. I'm a real one out of Miami. Know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like I say, I'm not doing that to glorify what I've done in the streets. I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking this opportunity like I made the promise I made to God. If I come out, if you let me out, I don't have to do all 20 of these years, which I only did 16 of them. I'm going to go out a changed man. I'm going to go out there with a message. And that's what I'm doing, man. This has your, your boy OG Jigabelli, man. It's been real. But that's just, this, this, I, I dedicated this this um this 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 uh, episode right here to addressing some of the comments, some of the negative comments, some of the positive comments. Do I believe that it's over for this generation? No, it ain't over for this generation, man. It just take men like me, men of courage to step out, man, and lead. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. This your boy OG Jigavella, man. It been real.